feel really blessed it's, it's just like a feeling blessed of uh, it's it's like a miracle right <laughs> Uh, someone is growing inside and seeing what's happening inside it's just like a miracle hi everyone welcome i'm mo from the university of cambridge and we're here with dr tum at the list of fertility clinic and Stacey Wythe at the University of Roehampton. And we're part of the AI at CAM Womb to World project, where we're using AI and innovative wet lab techniques to help improve IVF outcomes. For the computational experiments, we're hoping to leverage all of the different types of data collected during an IVF cycle to make an early prediction of the likelihood of a successful outcome. And that's going to empower patients and give them more information and more visibility in what is already a very uncertain and unsettling time for them. Currently, the fertility rate in UK is dropping. A lot of couples, they decided to have children a bit later. When the woman getting older, the egg quality start to decline and that will reduce the chance to get pregnant naturally or will end up needing fertility treatment. The IVF treatment success rate remain quite stagnant so hopefully hopefully with the new research new technology we can implement some AI component to help to improve the fertility treatment outcome there's many components in IVF treatment we can apply AI into the system to help to achieve a better outcome. For example, this is one of the video clip that um, we got the machine continue to observe the embryo and give us the information that have a dynamic data of the embryo development to select the best embryo for transfer. However, the system is still not perfect. So with our project, we will develop a better AI system to help the laboratory, to help the clinician, to help the embryologist to achieve a better success rate. We're hoping to offer parents 4D ultrasounds, which will enable them to recognize their child's early behaviors before they've even arrived. We're going to identify baby's eyes, nose and mouth and live annotate them on the screen using facial algorithms and uh, AI that enables us to track the movements or kinematics of the baby in the womb live while the patient is on the table meeting their baby for the very first time. I've been a sonographer for about uh, 20 years now and uh, it's come a long way from the normal 2D black and white images to having 4D, which helps with a lot of baby bonding. I love what I do, and I can see the smiles on their face when I'm scanning 4D uh, images for their babies, and you can feel the bonding, you know, you can see the, you know, especially their dads. I will say that, because they're not carrying the baby. Every time I'm scanning, I look at the dad, and you can see they're not, they're not stopping to smile, because they can't feel the movements. We're gonna use uh, prediction models based on the baby's movements in utero that we've captured through 4D ultrasound to predict uh, outcomes after the baby's born, like their likelihood of movement disorders or just how quickly they'll learn to walk. We're gonna be tracking their motor development for several months after they're born and provide an opportunity for parents, especially who've had this fraught fertility journey to learn more about their baby's development from before they're even born. So there's been a real palpable sense of energy in the room here today where we've got you know, people from all different walks of life, from academia to industry to clinics that uh, really want to get stuff done. Yeah, it's a great day because for the last 20 years, the success rate of IVF, hardly any improvement. Well, there is improvement from 35% 20 years ago and now 40-45%. It's just marginal improvement. But 
with all this research, new research, new technology, why there's only a marginal improvement? I think because we haven't bring all the technology into the clinic, into all the stakeholders. Absolutely. I think everybody converging in one place and sharing the same goal to translate uh, some of the innovations in medicine, in clinic, in lab, uh, into a kind of space where we can all share uh, and discuss them in a, a way that would benefit not just the science and improve IVF outcomes, but also improve patients' understanding of the IVF process and ability to have autonomy in their treatment uh, in understanding that medical information. I think it will make a really big difference to IVF as a whole. Absolutely. And we want to take this product from the lab to clinic, don't we? We want to translate this science and ultimately use this product to empower patients by giving them an early prediction of the likelihood of a successful cycle and at the same time also help clinicians with an additional diagnostic tool to help them navigate the multifactorial problem of, of fertility and IVF. Hopefully with this AI system then we can reduce the cost of fertility treatment or investigations because for treatment costs, it's not only financial costs. We're talking about time costs and emotional costs as well. So if our new system with the AI powering tools that can reduce all these three costs, it will be fantastic for the couple. We hope that we can democratize access as well for everyone so that this way more people can benefit from these innovations in science and AI.